this video is one I haven't made in a while. You know, I've been doing some research and some thinking. And you know, it came to my conclusion that under the previous administration, under Donald J. Trump, an outsider, a, uh, an outcast, if you will, a rebel, if you will, for the first time since I had been alive, I have been alive in this 27 years, we were not engaging in a new war somewhere or a new battle. We were wrapping up the battles, wrapping up the wars. You know, it looked like America was finally coming of age to a mature age to where they were, we were going to put away our guns and weapons of war. What do I mean by that? I don't mean that we were going to dismantle our military, no. But that we were not going to instigate nor cause any more havoc in the world than that which is already there. We were not going to be the instigators of it is what I mean. But we had finally gotten to a point where we could sit back and say, yep, all right, the world's this way, and we got enough fucking issues with our own fucking borders and our own fucking country. And you know what? We're mature enough now. We're going to let the rest of you fuckers handle it, and we're going to handle ourselves. You motherfuckers handle the world, we'll handle the U.S., and when we get straightened out, we'll see. And because of that, we had a prosperous economy. We were exporting oil. We were getting severely self-reliant. Now, certain political groups could not have that. So they engineered a virus to steal away people's votes to lie and say, well, this never happened, but yet the great lie that they tried to push is being clearly shown to be a lie. And members of the MSM, which stands for mainstream media, or monkey see, monkey do, as I like to call it, cannot fessed up to the fact that, you know what, they fucked up, and yep, they tried to cover it up, and it's still fucking showing up, and there's nothing they can do to hide it, it's laid me out in the open now, and yeah, it's fucking the whole house of cards is tumbling down, they built this elaborate mansion on cards, and, of cards, and now a good gust of wind came, and it's just tumbling down. They had this huge thing in dominoes lined up, and somebody accidentally hit one of them. And now the whole thing's coming down. But you know what? That's life. That's the way it's going to be. They overplayed their hand. They showed too much and now it's fucked. What we as a nation need to do is 
to make sure that our elected officials hear us and see us and we tell them, hey, if you were bullied, coerced, or in any other way made to do something that you don't want to do that resulted in the election getting certified, you have to stand up, no matter how hard it's going to be, and fight back. You have to stand up to the bully of the Democrats and fight back. I have noticed that since Antifa is no longer needed since Biden got in office, there have been no Antifa rallies. Media is not reporting on any Antifa issues. Same for BLM. Gee, maybe that means that BLM and Antifa are the brown shirts, the strong arms, the fucking bullies of the Democrat Party to get you to do what they want. Well, In my 47 years on this planet, I like to think I've learned a few things. And one of the things I learned is when someone bullies you, you don't cave in. Because that doesn't stop the bullying. All it does is let the bully know that, hey, this motherfucker's weak. We're going to do it again. And again, and again, and again, we're going to take his lunch money. We're going to keep taking it until he stands up to us, dies, and moves. Well, I'm not moving to another country. I love my country. And I'm not going to die anytime soon. God willing. So that pretty much means that we got to fight. No, I'm not saying that you go around looking for a fight. No, no, no. What I'm saying is the way we fight this is not with physicality, but rather with information. And we show our receipts. We show where we get our information from. We show all of this to where it cannot be defeated. And if they do dispute it, it's only going to make them look dumb. But that being said, I'm going to tell you now, if some Antifa bitch, punk, little soy boy or Tesco girl swings, I will defend myself. You see, I'm all about the equal rights. And the equal lefts. Uh, you can get these hands equally. Whether you're a man or a woman. You try to hit me or fight me. You're going to get these hands. I will not be proud of it. I will not like having to do it. But I will. Uh, but the point is. That that's the last resort. I don't want to do that. It was a time in my life where I loved it. I loved fighting. I didn't pick fights. I didn't hit a woman unless certain criteria were met. Such as she trying to kill me or she hit me and it feels like five guys the size of Arnold hit me at once. But you know, I had guidelines, you know. I have a set of morals. I have a code. That is a big part of what is missing in today's society. Men and women don't have a code that they live by. A set, a rigid set of moral rules and regs that they will not go against. 
See, my code is very simple. It's the cowboy code. I won't be lied about. I won't be slandered. I won't have I won't have a hand laid upon me and I won't be disrespected. I don't do these things to other people and I require the same from them. Very simple. Very straightforward, but very, very true. It's very, very honest. And that's what's missing from a lot of things. That kids don't have this code. They don't have this honor about them. And it's unfortunate because that is what we need. If someone has a code, someone has honor, everything works out beautiful and better. Because, well, they treat people the way they want to be treated. Now, some people are just assholes, and those people who are just assholes have to be dealt with like assholes. But for the most part, if you say one thing and you do that, it's going to work out for your fucking advantage. Alright? What I'm saying is you need this. You need to do this. Alright, one. You need to have a code. A set of principles you will not turn from. You need to have values. I have mine. My, so part of my values is that, you know, I'm going to try to live my life every day to be better than I was yesterday. And to follow to the best of my ability the teachings and the scriptures of what Jesus Christ and God Almighty said. So I'm a Christian. That being said, I do also know the Little America part of my heritage and I and the Norse as well and I incorporate those. But because of me having my values and a code, I know how I'm going to live my life. And I try to live it every day that way. I'm not perfect. I have days I fall short. I get up, pick myself off, up, dust off, and move on. You know, I pull myself up by my bootstraps, meaning, you know what, when I fall down, I stand up, and if I did something wrong, I admit, you know what, I fucked up, that was wrong, if I say something, I'm later proven to be wrong, I admit it, and I move on. I don't rely on others for my sense of work for my sense of well-being. Now with COVID, what the government essentially, not even essentially, what they did was they created at least five generations that are going to be having mental health issues and a Addicted to drugs. The reason I say this is because thanks to the lockdown of COVID, people could not get the mental health help they need or the help for other issues that they need. And it caused them to go into a tailspin of worsening behavior. Right. That means that now if they have children, they're going to pass that on. And the kids were forced into these little isolations where, you know what, you can't go out so you're stuck all day here. If you do go out, you can't 
go out without a mask, you gotta, you know, wear a mask. So you don't know what people's face looks like without a mask unless you watch YouTube. And without a, with the mask on, you don't get all a subtle little nuances that a facial expressions that people do to tell you if they're lying or telling the truth or joking or whatever. So now you get these kids that are growing up that are naive about how to read body language and stuff like that. And it just creates problems. At, like I said, at least five generations worth of problems. We, as adults, as parents, could shorten that by getting our kids into therapy and get them the help that they're going to need to get out of that and to break that program. Because that's what essentially the government's done. The government has programmed the children to go against the parents in whatever the parents say. The parents have said, been saying, you know what, masks don't work, six feet apart is bullshit, and the government has said, nope, that's denying science, that's a, you're, you're a science denier, you're crazy, you're dangerous, you're a menace, you're a threat. The kid has seen this. All right, for those that are old, the kid has seen this. Every day, Day in, day out, the kids saw this, and it made the kid think, you know what? Maybe mommy and daddy aren't right. Maybe Uncle Sam is right. Maybe the government's always right about everything. And that is a slippery slope, because that opens us up to communism, and to totalitarianism, and to dictatorship. You know, they said that they're even still saying now that Trump is dangerous, that he idolizes and wants to be like Kim Jong-un, President Xi of China and Putin and these other auto aristocrats. But the thing is, is no. Trump is his own man. Trump has so much money he could never spend it. His children's 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 twenty generations are not going to spend it. He knows it. He doesn't idolize it. Because he could live a better life than they ever did. The reason Trump got in office was to make America great again. To bring us back to number one in manufacturing, to bring us back to having pride and creating something with our own hand by the sweat of our brow. Uh, we wanted to bring us back to a time when made in America meant pride. It meant that the, the product was quality and good and would last. Uh, it had nothing to do with racism or anything. That is the lie straight from the pit of hell that the Democrats and the race hustlers are going to say because, well, they got to make everything about race so that it can be that way. Well, if it's all about race, well, then race always evolved, then I can always make money. You see, that's what they're thinking. So what we need to do is just what I've been saying. Wake up. We look at all the information, do our own research, and go from there. And while I started turning this on, and I gotta go help someone. So, for now, America, please, as I always say, think for yourself, do your own research. And until next time, I'll be seeing you, and I'll be praying for you. God bless each and every one of you, and God bless America.